Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Pilot Institute. Last week, I released a video of the Mini 2, the, the new Mini that came out, and we were doing a test of endurance between the original Mini and the Mini 2. And then what we found out is that, well, the Mini 2 lasts quite a bit longer. Now, granted, I was flying at 5,000 feet elevation, but still the difference is there. Uh, we had a 23 minutes and 32 seconds flight on the Mini, and then the Mini 2 was 27 minutes and 19 seconds, so almost four minutes more on the Mini 2, which is pretty awesome. Now, the way that we did it is we took the... Um, the battery that came with the Mini and then the battery that came with the Mini 2. And in the comments, quite a few of them have asked questions because I mentioned in the video that you can actually use the old batteries, the one from the Mini, into the new drone, into the Mini 2. Uh, they fit, they will go in there, the drone will take off. As a matter of fact, you'll see this in a second. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to go over um, kind of the performance and the difference between the two and some things that you should be uh, aware of if you decide to do this. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I know a lot of you have uh, several batteries from the old Mini that you may be reusing in the, uh, in the new one so you don't have to buy new ones. So let's take a look at a few things first. If we look at the drone itself, so this is the original Mini right here. Barebone, this, and I say barebone, the propellers are on there. Everything is in there except the battery, so there's a card in the back. This one weights in at 149 grams, 149 grams before we put a battery in there. This one, the new one, actually weights in at 157 grams, so it's 8 grams more. I'm going to say 8 grams. Uh, what are you, weight weenie? Uh, this, uh, it's quite, actually quite a big difference when we start talking about 250 grams as being the limit. So uh, the new one is a bit heavier. This one is a little bit lighter, the old one. But when we start looking at the batteries, the original batteries, the one that are uh, black, were 98 grams. And then the new ones are 80 grams, so 18 gram difference. If we look at the very end, when we put everything all together, and I put this on my scale, it's basically a 10 gram difference in the favor of the Mini 2. So the new one, even though uh, the frame in itself is a little bit heavier, when we put the new battery in there, then we have an advantage to the Mini 2, which this advantage looks like it turns into uh, 10 grams, turns into about four minutes extra of flight time. Something to be said about the new batteries, the voltage is higher on the new battery, 7.7 .7 volts as opposed to 7.2 volts, difference between the two. And then the milliamp hours was a little bit less on the new battery, 2250 milliamp hours as opposed to 2400 milliamp hours. So a bit of a difference. So now you're gonna say, well, what, uh, what about this new experiment? Well, this new experiment, we're gonna put this battery, the, the old one, which is heavier, okay, into the new Mini. So at the end of the day, what we have is the new Mini weights in at 255 grams, and the old Mini weights in at 247 grams with the exact same battery in both of them. So now we'll see how that converts on paper. Technically, the Mini original should be lasting a little bit longer than the Mini 2 just because of the weight difference. It's, uh, it's 8 grams of weight difference. I need to mention something. You notice in here numbers 255 grams if you put this in there, which means that you need to register the drone to fly as a recreational pilot. If you're flying for fun, if you use the original battery, it is sub 250. You don't have to register the drone, but with the new battery, now you have to register the drone because it's over 250 grams. So that if, if you're one of these that doesn't want to uh, register the drone, this is kind of a big deal. Don't go flying with this because if you get checked by the FAA and they put this thing on the scale, then you're in trouble. So don't fly with the original battery in the new drone unless you are already registered under the FAA. And I'm going to say this again because you may not have watched the previous video. Um, if you are flying under part 107 as a as a um, as a remote pilot you need to register the drone regardless of the weight any drone under 55 pounds needs to be registered to be operated under part 107 as a remote pilot and anyone flying as a recreational pilot or flying uh, under uh, part 107 everyone needs to follow the regulation. This sub 250 does not allow you to just fly willy nilly wherever you want. You still need to get airspace authorization. You still can't fly over people. You still have to fly within visual line of sight. And this is in the United States. If you're in a different country, then check the regulation for your country. So, well, let's go to the field and let's take a look at, uh, at what we did and kind of what results we got out of it. And then I'll see you at the end of the, at the, end of the video. 
So the first thing that we did is we looked at the battery and you can see that the battery level here is pretty much the same with uh, the same voltage as we get started. Now the Mini had 95% and then the Mini 2 had actually 96%. Not really enough of a difference uh, if you ask me. Why not 100? Uh, it was somewhat cold that day so during transportation I think uh, we lost a little bit of uh, battery power but uh, not really a big deal. So let's get to uh, flying. So we set those up next to each other. And uh, what we did is we took off exactly at the same time. On the right side, you can see the Mini 2. And on the left side, you can see the Mini. Now we're going to get to the same exact altitude and, uh, and then kind of stabilize the two. There you go. And then uh, you can see probably another drone flying around at the same time. Uh, Don was having fun with his uh, FPV drone. So Don was flying around us as we were doing this. And uh, you can see on the left side, the Mini had 94% uh, battery and then the Mini 2 had 95% battery. And right from the get-go, the Mini was showing a little bit longer uh, flight time at 27 minutes and then 25 minutes on the other one. And, um, and, and this is kind of, it makes sense, again, because of the weight. So we know that they're using the exact same battery, but the Mini 2 was a little bit heavier because the old battery was a little bit heavier. So uh, that should be making a difference. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit so we don't get bored here for too long. And then we're going to go to the 50% point where the drone only has 50% of battery left. And then we'll take a look at the, the battery health from there. So let's take a look right here. We can see that we are at 50% pretty much on both drones. The voltage is pretty much exactly the same that's left. And we have, uh, it looks like about half of the voltage left on both. It's equal on each of the cells for the battery. So that's kind of an important thing. And, uh, and then let's take a look real quick at uh, the amount of uh, time that we have left. The mini original is still ahead by about a minute and 40 seconds roughly uh, at this stage actually more than that two minutes almost two minutes it keeps changing so it's always hard to tell but definitely ahead it's been ahead this entire time so we're going to fast forward until the next event which is going to be basically the forced landing which is when we need to kind of uh, kick it in and, and and hold the drone up in the air so we uh, we do this by just holding the left stick up at a, uh, a constant throttle and then the drone stays up and then we're going to do this in until the battery is depleted. So let's move to the next event, which is going to be when we get our first warning. And our first warning is coming up here with the uh, the force landing. It's not really force landing at this stage. We're just going to have a low battery warning. And then here, there it is on the right side on the uh, Mini 2. So the Mini 2 gets to the low warning, the low battery first, which again was expected. Uh, that's kind of what we thought was going to happen. And then you see we still have another two, almost three minutes before force landing. Uh, the Mini original still going strong four and a half minutes. And, uh, and I'm bringing the brightness up a little bit because, uh, well, because uh, it, it burns through your phone battery. So I was running on low. And then here what we have is uh, low battery again happening on the original uh, Mini. So not very far apart from each other, we get the two warnings. And then uh, basically the next event is we're going to be uh, going all the way until the forced landing. Now this is something that the drone in itself lets us do is uh, it, it doesn't want to basically burn through the entire battery going all the way down to zero. Now you notice we have uh, a little bit of a difference and we saw that in the original test. The Mini 2 is going to force land before the original Mini. It looks like at about 10% left the Mini 2 is going to kick in and at about 5% left the original Mini is going to kick in. So th there's a difference between the two. I think it's just them learning how their batteries work best. And again, they don't want you to go all the way down to zero. Uh, I did for this test, but this is not something that I would do on a regular basis. So it's going to force us to land. And uh, and at that stage, you have to hold the stick. So you have to fight the drone as it's coming down. And, uh, and this is something that we had to do for each of the drones. So it looks like the Mini 2 is going to get into that mode first. We have another minute or so left. It's actually a lot less than that. Uh, well, because I know. Uh, because we recorded this video. I'm, I'm just doing a voiceover right now. But but, uh, you know, this is something that you need to know for your drone because um, you need to know what happens when this drone starts to go down all by itself. Uh, force landing, um, if it's flying far away and you can't see it and it goes into force landing, you're not going to have the ability to actually uh, see what exactly is going on. Now, the drone was right in front of us here, so it was easy for us to see what it was doing and kind of fight it. But 
it's not something that I recommend. Don't get all the way to that point. And uh, there is talking about that point. You can see on the right screen here, it says confirm landing. And uh, there you have to kind of hold it in place and force it to stay up in the air. So we're using the left stick to do this. And, um, and then we have another basically two minutes until the battery is fully depleted. Now, what we saw in the original test that we did with the Mini 2 is that it stayed up in the air at 0% for a really long time. Now it's at 8% and it stayed up for over two minutes, almost three minutes at 0% before it landed. Now this was with the other battery, with this battery that did not happen. As soon as we got the uh, to 0%, it pretty much landed and you'll see that in a second. And um, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the next event, which is, um, which is gonna be either the Mini 2 going down and landing all by itself, or which is gonna be the actual Mini, the first one, the original Mini, uh, going into forced landing. It's still flying by itself right now on the left side and it still says that there is another minute and a half before forced landing. Now this is another thing that I want to point out right here. It's really not another minute and a half. It's actually a lot less than that. Uh, there's about another 30 seconds before it actually goes down. And uh, so this is, a don't trust necessarily what's in here. Give yourself a margin of error because if you don't, see it's still showing that there is, there you go. It went from a minute and a half to zero just like that now on the left side you can see it says zero minutes until forced landing and there was a minute and a half in there so that's kind of crazy um <laughs> what was happening there on the count so don't trust the count uh but now it, it's uh it's it's really getting there and and i think any any time now yep there it is here's the battery landing on the left side on the original mini so it's forcing us to basically land so now we have to fight uh, each of us had to fight our own drone to keep it up in the air and make sure that it didn't land and then now you can see that the uh, the battery until it's depleted it's pretty much the same on both sides within maybe what 20 seconds it looks like a little bit more than 20 seconds so um at one point one of these drones is going to force itself we have 13 seconds left on the uh the mini 2 on the right side before it's forced to land uh so we'll see what actually happens and boom there you go it just went down. It just went down all by itself. And there's nothing we can do at this stage. It's just landing. And that happened pretty much right when the timer told us. And then, uh, and then now it's down. So uh, from the time that this happened to another few seconds for the other one on the other side, uh, this is what's going to happen. The drone is going to come down. And uh, in any time now, oh, there it is. It's coming down. So really, the difference is less than a minute between these two. So let's take a look at the actual results of what happened in this flight. So we started, uh, we got all the way to the low battery warning, which was 20% left for both of these. And, and these two drones were really close to each other. If we look at the data here, it's about 27 seconds difference. And then we got to the low battery warning uh, a little bit earlier on the Mavic 2, just because of the way it's designed at 10%, we got it at 10% uh, left at 20.53. And then a minute and a half later, roughly, we get the 5% warning on the mini. So just dif the different, it's the same software, but it's designed a little bit differently. And then we reach 0% of battery at 2308. And then soon after, it only took five seconds for the mini two to basically land. Now you have to be careful with this. This is the lesson to be learned right here is the fact that uh, once you hit 0%, the drone is going down and you cannot stop that. There is no way you can keep the drone up in the air. The drone is no longer responsive and then that's it, it goes down. In terms of the mini in itself it went down uh, at 0% at uh, 2332 so about 24 seconds later than the mini 2 and then uh, it got to force landing another four seconds later so pretty much exactly the same so we at the end at the end we flew uh, 23 seconds longer on the mini than we did on the mini 2 that's both of them using the original mini battery so that's kind of what you should remember from all of this uh, if you're going to be flying the mini 2 using the old batteries you'll be getting pretty much exactly the same kind of results uh, that you get with the uh, original mini and then uh, the only difference is that now you are over 250 grams so you do need to register your drone if you're flying as a recreational pilot that's it that's all i got i will see you guys for the next test we actually put this uh, one more test that we have coming up in the video where the um, we're going to test the mini 2 with the new battery against the mavic air 2 so look for that on our channel and uh, i will see you guys later